Welcome to the Easy Environmental Analysis System Marine GIS tutorial series. In this video, we will demonstrate exporting time series data from raster imagery and ingested station data. Here, we have a spatial analysis project that contains a wide variety of imported raster imagery files from both satellite and model sources. On the main screen, we can see a portion of the Gulf of Oman, along with modeled ocean temperature fields. As explained in some of our other videos, EASY allows the user to visualize a range of imagery types as well as station-based data. Users can also conduct in-depth analyses of ingested data from within EASY itself. However, sometimes it is also useful to export data in order to conduct additional external analyses using other programs such as Microsoft Excel. EASY provides multiple ways of exporting data, including a powerful ability to export a comma-separated values CSV file containing one or more time series of data from underlying imagery. There are multiple ways of doing this, including by designating a user-selected point along with a time range and export frequency, or by selecting a pre-existing station and exporting from the station data menu. First, we will demonstrate exporting from a user-selected point. Open the Export Raster Samples menu by selecting File, then Export, then Image Samples. At the top, we see a list of all the available imagery and measurement categories. The user can scroll through the list and click on the checkboxes to select one or more categories for export. Some imagery categories may contain more than one imagery frame. In this case, the user can select as many frames as desired by simply clicking on the desired frames and highlighting them in blue. Here, we will select several frames from the Disco 2 category, including sea surface height, sea surface salinity at 0 meters depth, temperature at 0 meters depth, and temperature at 50 meters depth. We will also select the Veers chlorophyll category. Next, we will ensure that the location time source checkbox is checked. This allows us to choose a specific latitude, longitude, date, and time for our exported time series. The lat lawn selection boxes can be filled in manually, or we can simply press the point button and then click on the main screen to populate the lat lawn and long boxes with the coordinates of the chosen location. Note that the selected point is shown on the screen as a black dot. We can also specify the desired start and end times of the time series as well as the time delta. When ready, press the export button. First, EASY will ask for the desired location and file name of the exported time series file. We will call this Demo Export. Once Save is pressed, EASY will begin the export process. Please remember that this process may take a significant amount of time as EASY must sample each selected image and frame for the entire specified time series. When complete, the exported CSV file will be found in the designated location. Let's take a look at the exported file. The first column contains the time, and the next two columns contain the latitude and longitude of the sample. Each following column contains the time series for all selected imagery and frame types. Here we can see the sea surface height, salinity, temperature, and chlorophyll imagery we selected earlier. The user also has the ability to export time series of data from all stations containing a specified measurement type, rather than from an individual coordinate point. To do this, we simply uncheck the Location Time Source checkbox, and then select one or more measurement types. Here, we will select the Demersal and Pelagic types, which contain recorded fish catch data for different governorates of Oman. This fisheries data is older than the available DISCO2 and VIRS imagery we selected earlier, so we will select other raster imagery types. Echo Mixed Layer Depth, Echo Sea Surface Height, and Grist Sea Surface Temperature. And turn off our previously selected DISCO2 and VIRS categories. As before, when we are ready, we can simply press the Export button to designate an export file name and location. 
and then EASY will automatically export time series for all selected data types at each station of the selected measurement types. Let's take a look at a sample output file from the export that is currently running. As before, we can see a similar format to the file we saw previously. We have columns of time, station name, latitude and longitude, as well as a recorded depth of the sample value. In the case of this dataset, all depths were set to zero, but often you may be working with other types of environmental information with discrete depths, for example, data from a CTD sensor. Next, we have a samples column that simply tells how many different measurement samples are being output for a given station and time. Then we have columns of measurement data, our fisheries data in this case. Finally, we have the raster imagery types we selected earlier, in this case, ECHO MLD, ECHO SSH, and GRIST values are recorded at each measurement station at each time at which there is measurement data available. As you can see, EASY has output measurement and imagery values for each and every measurement data point included in our original selection. Finally, a third way of exporting data can be found in pop-up menus available at each individual station. Here we have the same spatial analysis project, but this time with CTD data, specifically temperature, salinity, oxygen, and density ingested into the project. By clicking in the middle of one of the displayed stations, we can bring up the station data menu, which contains information about the specified station. As we can see, this includes material like the name of the voyage to which the station belongs, the start and end time of the data at the specified station, the station's name, a list of the actual data at the station, as well as some of options on viewing the different data sets available. By pressing export, the user can easily export a series of all available data of a specified measurement type at the station in question. Here we see the output of the export we just ran. In this case, the time of each measurement is all the same, but we have different temperature values at different depths. Once these data have been exported as a CSV file, they can be analyzed in Microsoft Excel or other software to run statistical analyses, create plots, etc. However, EASY also has some built-in functionality for analysis and plotting. Once data have been ingested into EASY, the user can set up user-defined plot types using the display settings Plots tab menu. Here we can see some of the plot types that have already been defined in this project for the CTD data types we were examining earlier. Specifically, we have measurement categories versus depth and versus time. To add new user-defined plot types, simply press Add to make a copy of an already existing plot type, use the drop-down menus to define your plot type and measurement type, and define your minimum and maximum Y values and X values. More information about this functionality can be found in the Easy Help Guide. Once a user-defined plot is created, the user can select one of the profile types in the station data menu and then press Plot to view a line plot of the selected data. Here we see the temperature data we viewed and exported plotted against depth. Additional analysis tools may be discussed in other tutorial videos. Thank you for viewing this one.